Hello. All right, video 19, random sampling. What is random sampling? Let's say that you have a massive data set, but maybe you just want to look at little chunks that are randomly selected from the data set. Um, so you don't keep looking at the same data over and over again. Well, you can do this using Panda and Python, and I'm gonna show you how in a moment. So we are, we're gonna use another module this time. We're gonna use NumPy. Um, so we're going to import NumPy, import a data set, describe it. I didn't notice I took out info. Describe it, look at the head, look at the shape. We're going to use NumPy to allow us to do the random sampling. So this is how it works. We're going to create a sampler object and that's going to be NumPy. So mp.random.permutation. And then we're going to say we want 20,000 permutations. Run that. Shouldn't have any problems. There we go. Sampler. There we go, this gives us an array of our samples. So do that. Notice it changed. See how it changed? It will always change whenever we rerun it. And now we're going to use uh, a method called take, and we're going to go da uh, play data dot take. Take this sampler data, right? Give, give us a view of this sampler data. There we go. And if we, so we look at that, if we can remember 10, 4, 1, 4, and we run this again. Oh, 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 different. It's not 10414 anymore. Um, but let's say that that's, that's too big. And maybe you just want to look at a couple of hundred values. To do this, you do your playdata.sample and then n equals 200. And it gives you 200 samples. I think we could probably check that by using shape. Let's see, there we go, 200 by 39. So that's two ways of sampling. And if you just want to create a new object with your sample with 200 in it, then you just do new sample, play data dot sample brackets, n equals 200 and then replace true. And there you go. There's your, your sample of data. And that is essentially how you can do random sampling and sampling of a data frame very quickly in Python. All right, if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up, thumbs up. If you get any questions about sampling um, or anything you need help with, stick it in the comments. If you want to support the channel, subscribe so you get updates as soon as the videos come out. And if you really want to help us, tell people about Data Boy, share with their friend, your friends, help your marketing friends or any friend actually learn Python. It's going to be useful in the future. All right, see you next video. Ciao.